everyone. Welcome to my channel, Kimba's Crafts. My name is Kim, and if this is your first time stopping in, what took you so long? I'm just kidding. Welcome. I hope you enjoy the video. Um, if you're returning, thank you as always for your continued support. I appreciate all of you. Uh, we are here for another unboxing, and this is going to be my next kit. I'm not ready to kit it up, but this is going to be my next kit. Um, I'm still currently working on the Hello Moon from Oraloa. I'm I'm more than halfway done at this point, but uh, I I don't want the pressure of having two kits like on me. <laughs> I'm kind of enjoying this uh, focus on one kit thing happening right now, and so I'm I'm just going to keep rolling with it until I'm like mm, I want I want to back up. So I'll just keep feeling it out and yeah, I'll let my mind tell me when it's time to set, have like two projects going at once. I'm not there yet. So um, I think I'm going to be using the tray towers when I do eventually kit this up. Uh, I'm going to say I'm probably going to kit it up next week. So this is just the unboxing, the unveiling, uh, my thoughts on this canvas and it is an old one, meaning it's been around for a while. It's still available. It's actually currently on sale. I believe I even bought it on sale. And I know I've seen it on Amazon as well. Um, I don't know if it's still on Amazon. I didn't bother to go look, but I did hop on the Diamond Art Club website prior to starting this video. And I saw that it's still available. It has, a, um, unfortunately, it's out of stock, so it has a notify me when available, and it's still on sale. So that's awesome. Um, and it is called Mountain Castle by Dominic Davidson. So yeah, this is a Diamond Art Club, uh, and I love this image so much. <laughs> I'm just like, I've been dying to do this diamond painting. So I'm not going to go into all of the box just to say that, you know, it's square diamonds when it says on here, square diamonds. Um, if it's a round diamond, it would have a pink circle and it would say round diamonds. So that's what we have going on in here. And I think I forgot to tell you though, this is a biggie as you, this, this is huge. It's going to be 98 by 70 centimeters. So it's a very large landscape. And I told you guys, I have a lot of, I haven't really, um, I get, well, I guess the heart flower jars from DAC was big, but it was also a round. So I have, this is brand new. I'm just now ripping this plastic off. And I'm really like curious to know how confetti heavy this is. So let's get in this box already. I feel like I'm ready to put on some. Okay, so it has an old toolkit. This is the old toolkit. If you're new to diamond painting or new, um, to Diamond Art Club, then it, it they've gone through multiple changes since I've even started diamond painting back in 2022. So um, one of them was they upgraded their toolkits, and this is an old one. So I do have this. So uh, I should have looked up what, when I bought this. It was definitely a 2022 kit. I, I want to say I'll have to look. I'll look it up and tell you guys um, in a second. They do still have that small sticker. Again, it tells you that it's the diamond shape is square and it's a 98 by 70. And look at that. Isn't it so pretty? If you're not familiar with my channel, the snoring you hear in the background is not my husband, it's my pug. <laughs> my my 13 year old pug, she's got a little bed in my craft room and she is just comfortable as a pug snug in a rug right now and so she is snoring um here we go it's huge it's heavy just the way we like it i'm just kidding um so it comes in this awesome dust cover 
Oh, where's all the muscles going to the gym for nothing? Okay, and we're out. All right, let's just get all the stuff out. We're gonna put the inside stuff on the side. Let me just roll this backwards. All right, we're gonna go over these two things first and then we'll go ahead and look at the canvas. This is your step-by-step -step instructions. There's a new one. I'm not even gonna open this. This It's just a pamphlet. You get one with um, all of your Diamond Art Club kits and that's, that's an old, old version of it. Um, here is the sticker sheet. There is the lovely image. Again, it's by Dominic Davidson, 98 by 70 square diamonds. And this is important, 56 colors. Okay, so we have 56 colors and Diamond Art Club, they list their ABs at the top. Anything below 150 is an AB. So there's only two ABs in this, I'm surprised. So there's two ABs in this. And as you can see, the symbols, yeah, okay, they are pre-cut stickers. I didn't come in that late. I mean, that early into diamond painting, but that top doesn't almost doesn't look it. Um, so you can see their symbols are just all of the normal symbols. There are some letters and numbers and then symbols that I, th I feel like we're all familiar with. Nothing crazy. Um, so, yeah, this is your sticker sheet. This whole thing's a sticker. You can use it in your journal. They do a great job and I need to remember to print that. I like to copy it so I can put the legend into my um, journal. So let me see, which way does this go? Am I holding it the right way? I am. Okay, ready? I hope we're zoomed out enough. Oh. Look at it. Look at it! No, I'm just kidding. Okay, let me zoom out a little more if I can. I can. I can. You can just see my art cart over there. I try to avoid that stuff now. But we have to take in the gloriousness of this entire image. And oh boy, is it ever pretty. I love it. Um, so I'm still feeling all the winter feels right now. It snowed last week. It snowed a few times this year. And I just wanted to do a winter scene. I, I'm just, just, just feeling like I want to get a winter scene in there. And uh, before it turns, and I actually did Google this. It's it's um, officially spring. I think late March, because I, I, you know, at my age, you should know these things, and I don't. So I had to Google it, and I was like, oh, I have time. So I feel like I can finish this before officially spring starts, and so I wanted to get this one in there. Very excited about it. It's been calling my name for quite some time, and um, yeah, I just love the whole open window and seeing something gorgeous outside. I love, first of all, <sighs> I wish I lived in a house like that. I guess that's where this is all coming from, right? I did the ocean breeze from uh, Dreamers Designs where they had the window was open and it was like, it, 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 it was the ocean outside. And I just, I love these images. And so, of course, I see this one and it's opened up to this majestic castle with snow and birds and I'm like, I need it. I need it in my life. So I got it and I'm excited to do it with you guys. Um, let's just do a quick tour of this canvas. I'll tell you what's all around it. On the top left, bottom right, we have a full legend. Um, in the top middle, it says, do what makes you sparkle, sparkle, their motto and Diamond Art Club. And then in the bottom left here, we have all the schematics again, um, a thumbnail, 98 by 70 and licensed for, uh, from Dominic Davidson. We have their social medias, they're on Facebook, they're on Instagram, and we have the, oops, insurance, lifetime warranty. So um, that is what is on the actual canvas. Um, and then you can see 
I just, I just love this image so much. Gorgeous castle in the background. And then we have these beautiful, like almost fall, just rich colors that add to it. So it's, I feel like it's not all wintry. It brings you into this warmth of this room. This room feels warm and inviting. There's wine, there's books, there's pen and a, and a, what is this called? A, a quill? A pen and a quill and binoculars and the light that is in here. And I don't know, it just feels like, it feels like warmth to me. And then you have the outside, which is so cold and wintry. And I, I just love that contrast, right? And so you have these browns and these fall colors and these purples and these rich reds. And then you have your winter scene. So the whole thing is not all ice and snow and everything. It kind of, it's, it's both. And I think that makes for such a great painting. And I am excited. Okay, I'm going to hop you off. We're going to do a really quick pan over of this. And we'll come back and we'll look at, actually, before I do that, um, I want to say that you can have a landscape without some confetti, of course. Um, but for the size of this, you know, I, th I think the larger you make a painting, the less confetti that you're going to need to really bring out details. So um, like even these, even these flowers here and here you can see how clear the grid is. Like there, it, it is confetti, but this isn't at all like a J wall confetti, right? There are plenty of like lines in there. And then the sky is very color blocky with some color transitions. So you see you have those three triangles and that's color blocky. And then it transitions into the nines right there in the middle. So that's kind of confetti-ish but then you go right back into color blocky of the nines and then the fives. So you have some color gradients to uh, really make it for a pretty um, sky, but you know, it's not crazy confetti. It's not this the entire way through. Very, de um, very doable. Now, uh, I would say that this tree here, these leaves, that area is a little confetti heavy, but then you get down here and we're back to that. There's a lot of line work and color blocking within, I like to call it line, like line blocking. So it's, it's kind of confetti-ish, but not, not insane. It's not, you know, the pull your hair out kind of confetti. And then you have your window. So there's a, a lot of this. I think it it's. I think it's going to be. Very, very fun to diamond paint. You know, where you're transitioning colors to keep it interesting. But you're not going to be pulling your hair out and saying, OK, I need to walk away and I need a break. Um, let's look at these pine trees because you know, trees and flowers, they tend to be the worst. So here we're getting a little crazy. <laughs> we're getting a little crazy, but it's not, again, it's not like, you know, we're pulling out a uh, color for one, which a lot, of, I've had quite a bit of those kind of canvases. So, you know, you pull out a color and you can lay down a few drills and then move on to the next. So, um, yeah, I feel like for the size, for the size, right, 98 by 70, and for the fact that it's square, this is going to work up quicker, quicker than you would imagine because of the line blocking and um, because they made it bigger, it, it the confetti isn't uh, going to be pull your hair out, um, bang your head on the brick wall kind of confetti. Okay, so um, now I'm going to pull you off. We're going to do a quick pan over of this gorgeous image and I'll be back. We'll look at where we are going to look at all the drills. Okay. See you in a minute.
Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed that pan over. Um, I'm also going to, I forgot to go over the toolkit. So this, this is an old toolkit. Uh, it's kind of obsolete, especially if you're new to diamond painting. Um, so the older toolkits, they do not come with washi and they do not come with a cover minder. Um, they come with this clear, uh, standard boat. Um, their new trays are bigger, uh, a blue pen, blue squishy. They now give you, I believe they give you more bags and they put the bags in a bag, but back in the day, this is how they came. Um, back in the day. <laughs> oh, and, um. They gave you two heart, they, they, it was still heart-shaped wax, but no caddy. And then, I guess, one multi-placer? A four. And still the jabby scissors, uh, scissors, jabby tweezers. <laughs> All right. This is medieval times back here. This is medieval, no, I'm just kidding. Okay, let me look and see when I bought this thing. Hold on a second. Okay, so I bought it in September of 2022. So, yeah. Back then, um, if something, like if I liked a canvas and I got in my head, I couldn't stop thinking about it until I bought it. <laughs> I'm not like that anymore. Now, I, I tend to wait a few days and I can, I, I almost always can think of something that's in my stash that is comparable. And I'm just like, no, I really, really want to do this one. So, you know, I have a castle one and um, a winter scene. And so ones that have come out since, you know, until I get this one done, I, I, nothing's pulling me like this one did. So, yeah. So September of 2022. That is how long I have had this. Now, Diamond Art Club does the train style. Oh, and here's the color palette. I like, I like these because you can really get an idea of what the color palette looks like. And so, you, you know, you look at this and you're like, this is a winter. This, this is a winter painting. Yes, yes, it is, guys. It is a winter painting, okay? Just because it's not all blue and white. Um, yeah, it is. That's what I love about it. <laughs> Um, so, yeah, I think that, I can't remember, are these, new? no, these are not in order. So I'm just going to start pulling out rows here. Look how long this thing is. These are heavy. <sighs> you know, the fun of a new canvas is just, there's nothing that compares. And you know what I'm seeing too, which is kind of cool, is that, there's not a whole lot of bags with like very little in it. The, this is where, this is it, this, this row. But even these have a decent amount of drills in their bags. So let's start with this row here. So we have 893. Um, oh man, my, my nails look awful. 893, uh, 3347, 208. 815, 892, that's pretty, 3837, 3801, wow, look how bright that is, 327, 814, 550, 951, 666, 895, 647, 823, 939, 783, 640, 3776, 3860, two bags of that, 400, two bags of that, 445, and then here's our first AB, and if you don't know what AB is, it stands for Aurora Borealis. It's a special drill with that special coating on it, and you can see how it has like an iridescent shine to the top and where the facets are. So those flat bottoms, those are the backs. 
and those iridescent shiny parts, those are the top facets that you'll see come through on your painting, 844. And we will go over where those are laid out. And I'm gonna go over where I think more bling would look nice, potentially. And this way it gives me time to order. My go-to has been DP with sparklers. Um, I've never had an issue with their drills. Their drills are nice. They're very affordable. They have a great selection. Um, I don't talk to them. I don't know them. I'm, this is not a, uh, you know, a promo in any way. I just, um, I've just had a good experience with them. They tend to ship very quickly. Uh, I tend to get them within a week to a week and a half of my order. So, yeah, I, you know, it's just been my go-to, and, and that's where I'll go back for these. So 321, 648, 904, 310. We got just this much 310, not too shabby. If you are opposed to 310, 301, two bags of that. 782, 312, 312, two bags of that, 322, three bags of that, 742, this beautiful yellow, 300, okay, so here we have, this is probably part of the sky and, and or the snow, 775, this like robin's egg blue, three bags of that, we have four bags of the 3371, which is the dark, dark brown. And 3841, two large bags of that. Okay. We have this little guy sitting here. So this is our, our second AB. There's two ABs in this kit. 133, it's this orange, like this burnt orange or red orange. 945 and then 955. Love that seafoam green. Okay, here is our last train. Let's... Okay, 905. Did we have 905? I can't remember now. I, I, it doesn't matter. Although I keep looking, right? Okay, 905. This beautiful green. 890, two of this dark green, 3787, 3856, 3325, this blue, okay, 3756, this is a very, 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 very light blue, I want to say, it, I, I feel like, maybe not. Maybe it's white. I don't know. I feel like I see a tinge of blue when I pull it back. I don't know. 803, one bag of that. 898, one bag of that. 334, three bags of that. 779, two bags of that. 3865, winter white, two bags of that. 3861, one bag of that. 3755, three bags of that. 743, a bag of that beautiful yellow. 938, three bags of that. And then 402. So a lot of rich colors in this winter scene. I love that so much. Um, yeah, and you know, when you're planning vacations, these are the types of places you want to go to. So I'm just feeling it. Okay, let's go ahead and see where the ABs go. So the ABs are the yellow, 132 and 133. And uh, the 132 is symbol one. Where was that guy? There he is. 132. It, it looks like an orange, right? It's an orange. It, the symbol on here is more yellow, but it's an orange. So I'm gonna immediately feel like it's in the trees. Let's see. Yes. So 
So you can see some of it here in these leaves, um, here. So remember, the sun is coming into this room, even though it feels like there's a fire behind me. I, I'm just getting that vibe, like, um, so tons of it here, here, here. I'll tell you what, one thing about Diamond Art Club's canvases is they're super sparkly already. I love that. Um, here along the book edge, in the windows, you can see it in the windows. Not all the windows, like these windows, no, but this window, this window, this window, this window. I'm not going to go through all the windows, but yeah, you get the idea, right? Not all the windows, but some of the windows have the AB in it. Over here on the candelabra, that's what that's called, right? Yeah. Um, and then we have got this guy. Any over here? This looks like, is this like honeysuckle? I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. It's pretty though. So, no. Nothing on this side. And oh my God, we got a bird. He's just chilling. He's like, yeah, look at that castle. I was just over there. It's pretty cool. Oops, let me get this thing, this slippery. It's like, yeah, my buddies, they're flying over it right now. That bird is cool. Okay. Um, yeah, I forget what I was doing. That was number one. Okay, so that was number one. It's an orange. And now we have this like burnt orange, almost red orange, dark orange. Uh, it's symbol two. So it's the number two on the canvas and I can see it's on top of this clock. It's this dark orange here. You can see it in the window here. Um, and some the leaves, some of the leaves on the binoculars. So it's highlighting things. Do, do, do. Any on this side. So a couple, a couple in the middle of the flowers. Not very many. Um, and a couple of the windows as well. Not all. Some on the feather here. Yeah, so just sprinkled throughout, mostly on this side. You can see like there's more light on this side than there is on that side. Um, so the more of the bling is on this side. Okay, so that is where the charted ABs are. Where do I think we could put some more ABs? Personally, I like the idea of putting it on top of the snow. Like, I think that white AB on the white, just the white, not all of the blue and everything, but just the white, the very top where the sun is really shining on the snow would look super cool. Um, and it, it kind of, it kind of outlines the tree branches here. Um, it'll outline some of the castle, um, the whole side of this castle, the face of this part of the castle. Um, and then this whole mountainside here where the sun is coming down, um, on the bird. I think that would look cute. And then in the tips of these. So I would definitely, what, what is that? 3865 to 3865. I would definitely probably get that. Um, it would be on the glass. It would be on here. It would be in the candle on the wick. So that is one that I'm definitely going to order. Um, what else do I think? Hmm. You could do, you could do like the, again, the outline of this. It's, um, it's what I call, where's my, I already made a copy of it because I didn't want to mess up. Because I, I, I didn't make a copy of this for Hello Moon. I'm already messing up. So it's the eyeball, 3856. If they have that available, you could do because it's the line here, it's along this shelf, it's along this shelf, it's along here. Um, a little bit in this book, a little bit on here. 
some on the desk. Yeah, that might be another one that I'll get. If that's available. Um, it's in it's in the wine here a little bit. I like I like that idea as well. So three is another one because it's this line here and it's in the clock here. Maybe three as well because then I see three on the top here. So three is 402. So, and again, now we have all these crazy like pixie dust and all that stuff. So like you can like glitter, um, it's in the clock face, the three. Yeah, so those are the top three that I think I'm gonna try to get. Um, we have an orange, we have a burnt orange. Uh, you could maybe do some of the wine if you're so inclined to, um, or maybe, I always love a purple AB, right? I think the purple ABs are, are just so fun. Um, let me see. So on the grapes, 208 is the O, or maybe even 38, 37 would be a good one because I like, I like it when they outline things, you know, like if here's, here's, so let me just pull the grapes up. So here's the grapes. So you see the, how it's like on the outside. So you'll see the shape of the grape. I think that that would be fun. Yeah, I might do that. I might do that 30, 38, 37. So, those are the ones that I'm going to think about. I'm going to write that down. So I'm looking at 3865, um, 402. What was the other one? Oh, the eyeball. 3856. <laughs> And 38.37. Okay, so that's probably what I'm gonna order. But you know, you guys have to make your own decisions if you have this in your stash or you know, you're interested in blinging it up. But yeah, I'm excited and I can't wait to share it with you guys. Uh, you'll be seeing, if you're not part of my Instagram, go ahead and go into my description box. I do have a link to it, and as I work on projects, I, I update pictures. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, if you wouldn't mind giving me a thumbs up on the way out, and if you want to see more from me, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and join the family and friends here at Kim's Crafts. I would love to have you. You guys have a wonderful, wonderful night. Take care. Keep diamond painting.